What's up, guys? My name is Weston Zink, and I am the host of the Self-Actualized Man podcast. This channel is dedicated to helping men embrace their masculinity, optimize their resources in order to maximize their potential in important areas such as dating, business, family, fitness, and personal growth. If you enjoyed this video and would like more, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and share this content with your fellow men. I greatly appreciate all of your help and support raising the profile of the show. Don't forget to join our Facebook page where men who have unplugged from the matrix come to congregate over at www.facebook.com forward slash the self-actualized man. We are a community built on the tenets of curiosity, integrity, discipline, and brotherhood, helping men all around the world cultivate their skills, abilities, talents, and virility in order to transform them into the men that they want to be. In this episode, I'll be reviewing a book I highly recommend mad at men add to their library. It is Robert Kiyosaki's best-selling book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, What the Rich Teach Their Kids About Money That the Poor and Middle Class Do Not. Rich Dad, Poor Dad is a biography of Kiyosaki's childhood education. A tale of two worlds, where he experienced two foundational and contrasting paradigms about money and the adult working world, which manifested in two different fathers. One he called his rich dad, the other poor dad. Poor dad, who was Kiyosaki's biological father, went to the finest schools, obtained a PhD, and became well-respected in his profession. He emphasized the importance of studying in order to achieve good grades and acquiring a high-paying profession with good job security and benefits. What money was left over, if any, could be saved for retirement or spent on a new fancy gadget. Poor dad worked hard for his money. Having enough money meant spending countless hours in the office working overtime, making sacrifices, and climbing the corporate ladder just so he could pay off his ever-increasing expenses. Poor dad believed the rich were selfish and greedy, seeking to take away precious money for, and opportunities from hardworking men like him. Poor dad wholeheartedly believed, like many others do, that his company or the government would take care of him when he was no longer able to work. However, on the other hand, Kiyosaki's rich dad, who was his best friend's father and who never finished the 8th grade, believed in total financial self-reliance and the vital importance of learning the art of making money. Rich Dad spent his time learning how money works, and more importantly, how to make money work for him. Instead of just spending his life working for money, he dedicated it to improving his financial literacy and became one of the richest men in Hawaii. Rich Dad believed in managing risk, while Poor Dad believed in avoiding it. Both paid their bills on time, however, Rich Dad always paid himself first, while Poor Dad always paid himself last. One struggled to save a few dollars while the other created some of the biggest wealth generating investments in Hawaii. Kiyosaki interweaves two drastically different paradigms of money through stories of his two dads, one rich and the other poor. Kiyosaki inspires the reader to reflect on his own beliefs and behaviors about money. About halfway through reading this book, you will ask yourself this question. Am I living in the poor dad paradigm? Or do I have the rich dad mindset? Have you ever wondered why public schools seemingly leave children drastically unprepared for the real world? It's no wonder that over 50% of millennials support socialism, school and consumer debt is at unsustainable record highs, and the vast majority of the population has fewer savings than ever before. Kiyosaki continually reiterates throughout the entire book the desperate need for schools and parents to teach and encourage children to become financially literate. He emphasizes that the main reason people struggle financially is because they have spent years in school but have learned absolutely nothing about money. Essentially, public schools reinforce the poor dad paradigm of money leaving children and young adults grossly unprepared for the very real financial decisions and challenges that is required of them in the real world. Kiyosaki asserts the need for parents and young adults to take responsibility for educating themselves on the principles of money, encouraging both to be proactive in learning 
how money works and how to make money work for them. And that is a point he continually emphasizes over and over and over again in the book is people who have a rich dad mindset learn how to make money work for them while people in the poor dad mindset just learn to work for money. So instead of spending the rest of your life working in the salt mines for money, Kiyosaki encourages the reader to be the one who owns the salt mine. And that is a message I truly appreciate from this book. I believe Kiyosaki genuinely wants every person to become financially self-reliant. Rich Dad, Poor Dad offers the reader just basic principles for gaining financial independence. However, he leaves the choice up to you. Assume responsibility to, for your financial education and learn how to play the game of the rich or continuing to chase the cheese in the rat race of the poor. We can choose to spend our, our limited time and resources either educating ourselves on the art of making money and investing in our financial education with the long-term goal being total financial self-reliance, or we can choose to spend our time going into debt to get degrees, working 40, 50, or even 60 hours a week making someone else rich, avoid risk, search for job security, and hope that our company or the government will take care of us when we're too old and unable to work. Rich Dad Poor Dad emboldens the reader to grab the bull by the horns and assume personal responsibility for their financial freedom. You know, the, the, the kicker I really got from this is, is this is a choice that we can all make. You know, stuff about finances, economics, business, is it's just stuff you can learn. You can read it in books and you can learn it from workshops. It's stuff that's learnable, how to make money work for you. The problem is, is a lot of people never had that learning, don't wanna learn, or want to be distracted by other things. Kiyosaki strongly encourages working to learn instead of just working for money and investing in an education that will actually help you become truly self-reliant, which is something we here at The Self-Actualized Man strongly support and encourage all men in becoming. I genuinely appreciate the shift in perspective that Rich Dad Poor Dad provides. You know, after reading this book and subsequently losing my job shortly thereafter, gave me greater clarity and insight into how I was repeating the same patterns as Kiyosaki's Poor Dad. Work harder and harder for more money, which is then taken by the government via taxation, spend what I have left over on useless junk, and depending on my company to continue providing me wages and job security. And after losing my job, I felt totally exposed when my financial security couldn't afford to pay me any longer and closed permanently. I realized just how dependent I was on a job, which like many others, I continued to work despite feeling unfulfilled and unsatisfied and just how anxiety provoking it was to have something that I was so reliant on, so dependent on for paying my expenses and debts and bills and food just simply vanish. Rich Dad, Poor Dad helped me recognize that financial self-reliance is solely my responsibility and that it's, it's something that can be taught and learned. If you want to be financially free, you have to learn how money works, how the game works, understand the rules, and then put some skin in the game. The more I play in the Rich Dad paradigm, the more I invest in my intellectual and financial growth. And the better the chance I have of reaching the fast track of the rich. And of course, there is always the risk of losing money. And I don't know about you all, but I absolutely hate losing money, which is one reason I don't gamble or buy lottery tickets. Hate losing my money. But the poor dad mindset avoids risk at all costs, while the rich dad mindset focuses on managing risk. And as the old saying goes, the greater the risk, the greater the reward. And obtaining your freedom, financial or otherwise, takes great risk and hard work. The rewards can pay dividends beyond your wildest imaginations for many years, if not generations in the future. Rich Dad Poor Dad also helped me understand that 
being rich or poor is more of a mindset than anything else. If you're continually broke and stuck in the drudgery of the rat race, you probably have the poor dad mindset. Rather than complain and protest and do nothing about your present financial situation, instead be proactive and change your mindset. Rich Dad Poor Dad is the, the much needed starter pack for cultivating the rich dad mindset and mentality. But again, the choice is always yours to make. Robert Kiyosaki just provides two different paradigms for viewing money, finances, investing, wealth, capitalism, if you want to call it. He just provides two different paradigms for that. And some of you might believe that money isn't important or that you don't have enough time or resources to dedicate to your financial education or such things are only for greedy capitalists. But think about it this way. Having our basic survival needs satisfied so we can spend the limited time we have here on this earth doing more things that we love and enjoy requires a certain quantity of money. Rich Dad Poor Dad really inspired me to invest in my financial education and really actually take this investment seriously so I can have more time to transmit the Self-Actualized Man podcast to your ear holes hike the beautiful Rocky Mountains, experience different cultures and ecologies, and spend more time with my family and friends, which these are things I really enjoy. It's what I want to do with my life, and it's 100% possible, but I'm the one who's responsible for creating the foundation for it to happen. Well, guys, that'll about do it for this review of Robert Kiyosaki's book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. I give it a solid 4.8 out of 5 and highly recommend adding it to your library if you're in need of a financial paradigm shift, if you want to get the hell out of the rat race, or if you just simply desire to kind of understand the mindset it's going to take to build your own personal wealth in your own kingdom. I highly recommend his game Cashflow. It's a great visual aid and experiential tool for teaching people of all ages about the simple basic principles of money and investing. I had a lot of fun playing it when I did, and I just want to let you all know, Robert Kiyosaki is not sponsoring this podcast. I just genuinely want good information that comes from this book be given to you all. Thank you all for your help and support. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and share this video. I appreciate y'all again helping me raise the profile of the show. And until next time, fellas, peace.